Hello everyone. So today we are watching Avatar The Last Airbender, Season 1, Episode 6. In the last episode, we met... An old childhood acquaintance. Aang's friend. The old guy that uh, was crazy and tested him on stuff, but turned out to be not actually crazy and he knew what he was doing the whole time. Though, the granted... Earthbender. Yeah. And they, they told Aang and his friends about what sort of abilities they need in order to defeat the mm -hmm. Fire Nation. So in this episode, we'll see how it goes. And he also briefly mentioned his uh, main nemesis, the Fire Lord. Mm -hmm. Water. Earth. Earth. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> do you want to do the intro next time? <laughs> sure. That's fine. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. That's it. Yeah. No wonder that became a freaking meme. This music is really cool. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. But it just fits us all like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> it just ends like that. Yeah, it's a little odd. Episode 6, Imprisoned. I don't know. Oh, okay. So this is a scene where the Beast Titan shows up, right? Wait. What's for dinner? Brown nuts. And some kind of oval-shaped nuts. And some rock-shaped nuts. <laughs> might just be rocks. <laughs> What's up with the sound effect? <laughs> oh, it's an oh. Earther. Maybe he's gonna join them? No. So they need a, a Earthbender, maybe a Firebender too to join them. It'd be funny if Prince Zuko join them. <laughs> Because yeah. we have a water bender right yeah. here. Hey, I worked hard to get those nuts. <laughs> He's got the right amount of humor without being too annoying. Yeah. Like, he there's, does. there's a fine I really line like you him. have to ride that. Wow. Okay, what town are they, are they in? <laughs> Aru. Okay. Just walks in. Know what would happen if they caught you earthbending? Open up. He just opened. Uh, what? Act natural. Very natural. I've already paid you this week. The tax just doubled. Oh. Uh, oh, wow, what a fucking dick. So wow. I'll burn down your shop if you don't pay taxes. You can keep the copper one. Jesus. See, it doesn't even count it, so it's just extortion. This guy. <laughs> this guy. Been here? Five years. Fire Lord Ozai. Ozai. Our town's coal mine. But Haru's an earthbender. He can help. Earthbending is forbidden. It's caused nothing but don't understand. What can the Fire Nation do to you that they haven't done already? Kill you? They could take Haru away. They took his father. She seems oddly attached to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure your Abed doesn't eat all your head. <laughs> <laughs> he only paused for me. <laughs> when the Fire Nation invaded, he and the other Earthbenders were outnumbered ten to one. They fought back anyway. Sounds like a great man. There's one bit of dialogue. <laughs> he fought back, outnumbered. He sounds great. <laughs> See this necklace? My mother gave it to me. I lost my mother in a Fire Nation raid. Not enough, is it? No. That's a nice little moment. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, you know so what he's gonna he's do. Gonna... It's very obvious. He's gonna remove it and then he's gonna get in trouble and then his mother might get arrested and he Turn it to <laughs> It'd be funny if he was actually a Fire Nation dude. Yeah, exactly. That must hurt though. You must have really inspired me. I guess so. I got Aang is actually the dude for this. We're leaving at dawn. Can't we sleep in for one? Absolutely not. This village is crawling with Fire Nation troops. He's not wrong. discover you're here at rather eat fireballs than nuts. Good night. Uh oh. Oh my god, this fucking asshole. He saved you and then... Yep. Uh. Oh, 
I like how she immediately knows. They took her Slow down, Katara. When did this happen? Oh. The Fire Nation is going to take me right to Haru. <laughs> She's pissed. Because they're going to arrest me for earthbending. But she can't earthbend, can she? I the boulder levitates and ta da! Fake earthbending. Do you remember your cue? Yeah, yeah. Just relax. <laughs> Or if the or the farm. I will let the elephants get together and make fun of how big our ears are. That's it. I'll tell you who's boss. Earthbending style. I said earthbending style. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Is my ears really that big? Momo, you have some big ears. <laughs> That's funny. What if Zuko comes to the town? He's like, God damn it, they skipped my grass one for some more. <laughs> what, they stuck in Boulder? Ah, they're on the ship. So they're transporting him somewhere, right? Probably. I wonder where. Probably the prison camp where they the carry camp. all the. Yeah. Uh, Oh, looks like a fortress of some sort. They probably make them do work. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Tar knows what she's doing. Not like I was worried. It'd be funny if she can't do anything. <laughs> I thought just dress her over. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> This rig is made in ah. I'll be away from any rock or earth. Ah. So it will get better. Well, at least she doesn't have to use her powers. <laughs> well, at least he's not nice enough to greet them in person as a one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a boring place. No. It's like Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> oh, he just found his father? <gasps> oh, nice. Dad, this is Katara. So you already found a girlfriend? <laughs> oh, I know that voice. That's Lee. That's, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I knew that voice. That is him, it right? It is him, right? It sounds like him. I need to look this up after the episode. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like you've already given up. Katara, I admire your courage. I envy your youth. But people I feel like I need to look it up, otherwise you might make a mistake. <laughs> oh no. Some of you may think that the fire nation has made you powerless, but they can't take away your courage. It is the strength of your hearts that make you who you are. The time to fight. I don't think it is him. <laughs> it's not? I don't think so. That sounds kind of lame. Poor her. Poor everyone. They might question her. Because they're like wondering what she. You know, I'll look at the later. I'm not giving up on these people. I have to admire her. There has to be a way to help them. We need to run. Oh. I hate when you get like this. Come on, we better hide. Tell me exactly what you saw. Looked like a flying bison. It was a giant flying buffalo, sir. With an empty side. Which was it? A buffalo or a bison? I'm not sure what. <laughs> sure. But that's not really I'll decide what the point is. Pick up the captain. Search the entire rig. Pick up the captain? That was the captain. There's something going on here, and I don't like it. <laughs> he 
He really is a kid. What are they supposed to fight back with? They can't yeah. control metal. Oh, they can bend coal. Oh. <laughs> the monkey leans over dramatically. <laughs> Lemur, oh sorry. He, he has some really good ideas. Dun dun dun. Oh, you see coal against fire, good idea? Nice. Oh god, what have they done? Oh. Oh, nice. Good He's got a good at fighting. <laughs> He's just collecting spears. <laughs> Make himself useful. Wait, what? What is that like oh, a machine no. gun? Oh, smart. Swim into the water? No. You've been tossing people? Worry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, they did it. Oh. She didn't get a chance to use her powers. Yeah, no, I was surprised. I thought she was gonna use her water mm. powers and just inspire them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say too loud, though. <laughs> I know. So he knows who was responsible here. Hopefully he'll be nice enough to return to this. <laughs> he chased the sheriff for three seasons. <laughs> Have my necklace. I've been holding on to you all this time. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> now, now can you now let me look it up? up while we're before we discuss this. My Kevin Michael Richardson played Tyro, known for Mortal Kombat, Leo and Stitch. Okay, Leo and Stitch. But what about voice by? Okay, it's a different person. Okay. So we got that completely wrong. <laughs> So we just found out that Tyra was not voiced by the voice that's actor from when you, The Walking Dead. One voice Telltale. sounds like the other. Yeah, that's what threw me off. But uh. Well, that was a very good episode. Too bad we didn't episode. get a chance to see Katara use her water bending skills. I thought for sure that she was gonna use it in that scene. She talks about the co, right? They're not inspired, but then she uses her powers and they're like, "Hey, she uses her powers. We can use our powers too." Yeah. To uh, because she can do it. Or she could but, uh, like lift the entire prison and go yeah. somewhere, but she's not that powerful yet, so. I guess Hayward's not joining them since they're the crew's I guess kind of stacked already with three people, mm -hmm. and uh, and a lemur and a bison. <laughs> so Zuko is gonna spend three seasons chasing them with the necklace. Now <laughs> I'm in love with you. <laughs> Just give me your love. <laughs> That's gonna be a hurdle. Just give me the avatar. <laughs> give me the avatar. <laughs> give me the avatar, and I'll give you your necklace. But having the necklace uh, shows uh, who's involved. Does he know who it belongs to? Probably, since he's seen it before. I never even noticed the necklace until this episode. I did notice it, but I didn't think about it too much. I thought it was just part of her... Uh, her attire? Yeah, and she did mention that her parents mm -hmm. were killed. True. Or disappeared anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact details. But yeah, really fun episode. Uh, it's crazy they were able to fit all that into one episode, actually. It felt like... Uh, I thought yeah. it was going to be like part one, part two. and then, But no, it just kept going and then... Yep. Ended very quickly. Katara sh really shined in this episode. Uh, Aang took a back seat a bit in this episode. Aang's a bit of an idiot. <laughs> in a way. But he's the yeah, avatar. He, he's uh, innocent, but he's he's pretty smart, though. He yeah, figure out the cold situation. And they, they all have their strengths they and do. weaknesses. I like how the brother was like, you guys are idiots, but I'm going to back you up anyway. <laughs> like, that's that's loyalty for you. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> he thinks it's stupid, but that doesn't mean he's not going to help them. He tries, he's not going to try his damn best to help out the plan. Yep. So. A good brother, good team worker. But on, on the surface, there's not too much to analyze since, you know, I guess we're not really deep in the plot yet. 
for the show. That's a very good episode. Yep. And I guess we'll see you guys for episode... Uh, next episode. Next episode, which is episode 7. All right. So Thank take care. Thank you for watching.